awesome saucers welcome again to another day with kai farm so today what we're bringing you along for is basically one of our strong hives we have been observing it since the build-up last year in from the rainy season october to now what we have observed is that this hive is a decent honey producer we're in march now and in march i usually have a lot of pollen coming in what i want to do is take advantage of the pollen and let that colony or develop that colony out of a single chamber to a double deep chamber right what we did before february finished was to actually give it a shallow above the single chamber but below the queen excluder so that the queen could potentially um, utilize that space for brood um, but from our observation is that they actually fill that shallow with a lot of honey as i said what I want to do is, based on how it has developed, we want to convert it to a double deep before the season ends. Yeah? And then what we'll try to do is maintain it like that, um, going to the later parts of um, the season. And basically just see if we can keep it at a very optimal population. Every hive I have, they don't necessarily can get to a double deep. I kind of have to observe how they build up and just try to watch the ones that we give the shallow as root space and see what they do with it and then we can pretty much just judge it by that so in my apiary only two colonies i did that with where i gave them the shallow as brood space which is number eight and number nine and basically let's give you a glimpse so this is the colony that we want to um, change out it was the fastest one to build up and it was the one that um, gave me the most honey i took eight frames from here and i left back two in the top for them and this section here as you realize is below the queen excluder so the queen can lay into the space so what they did was to the brood kind of moved up so it's like a arch so some of the frames were empty like a little arch section of it um, for like the bees leaving space for the queen to lay um, didn't see the last time we went in there was two weeks ago and we didn't see where the queen was laying up there but she might have gone up there to lay now but what we want to do is to now move up some of the brood frames into another deep so we're gonna put another deep between here and here one thing we might do though is we might take two brood frame two to three brood frames from another colony um, just to supplement this process and we're also gonna move brood frame from the single chamber you know don't don't get me wrong but we kind of wanted to get a few more brood space a more some more brood frame to put here and potentially give other cl um, colonies that empty worker comb to um, work with you know we're pretty much gonna have you at a little distance um, today we're not gonna bring you up too close the reason why is because we're kind of doing this after midday and if i put the camera out in the sun it's gonna get overheated right so we're kind of trying our best to keep it in the shaded area um so apologies all right you're probably used to being more closer to the hives so right now basically as you see we have the queen excluder we knew that deep was filled with honey um, before we did our extraction so instead of putting that this shallow um, to the top of the deep we put it between the deep and the brood but, and below the queen excluder because what we wanted to do was to give this, the queen more space you know that was kind of the initiative what we wanted so as you see there's literally 10 frames up here um, we're gonna just pull out a couple at, at two at the ends and one in the middle kind of and show you what's happening with those two frames all right so this hive is at the strength right now where they can do what they want so this is one of the shallows that i gave them and if you realize you see they have a little nectaring arch on this so in this space here they kind of left it but they know they started to actually fill it with nectar and then around here 
is they're starting to cap this off, right? Doing what I'm gonna do today in terms of making it into a double deep is gonna be something that's in my best interest to also prevent swarming. All right, so this was a foundation sheet. And as you can see, they built it out. Um, what I'm seeing in the cells are pretty much nectar. You know, so they're pretty much just dropping more nectar in these. So let's see if we can just pop it off real quick. And it's kind of um, attached. It seems as if the frames are attached at the bottom. Like they make bridges. So whenever you're taking out of a super like this, you have to make sure you kind of twist it to get it um, released from frames that are below. Yeah. So we're just gonna rest this out here. All right. So this frame is gonna come out. It's I believe this has a lot of honey on it honey and drone so this was a drone frame a bait frame for drones and if you realize there's a lot of drones on this yeah so this I'm gonna actually shake this off this I'm gonna put into the honey super all right next frame see brood brood on this side as well so this queen and a lot of pollen guys this frame has a lot of pollen in there so this frame i'm actually gonna push to the side it's now going to be the end frame in this colony and then now we're going to actually choose some of these frames that we're going to switch out with actual um, empty cells for the queen to lay empty frames for the queen to lay in so here we go um in the bottom of the open cells we're seeing eggs so this queen is pretty much laying quite a bit you know so this frame we're gonna move it up to the second chamber and then we're gonna fill that this space but not exactly that space we're gonna try to put the open those frames more to the central section so we're just kind of reserving it right there for now all right see next frame all brood we're gonna drop that empty frame in after that see oops all right so you have to be careful how we're hanging these over you know because we're not really searching for the queen you know we're just doing the manipulation but we're trying to show you the frame of brood um basically so yeah this this frame we're going to pre pretty much drop it right here. There's going to be an empty space that they can start laying on. Yes. We're going to let that remain. We're going to see what the middle frame here has in store for us and see if we can actually remove this. All right. So this is, um, see that? Wall to wall brood. So we actually got, you see, because this don't have a nectar arch, we're going to let this remain right here, guys. So we're gonna change it up a bit you see this frame it has a nectar arch and because we want to put it in a double a double deep situation we don't want nectar arches to be above the brood frames that are gonna be at the top we kind of check a boarding in the empty spaces guys um, we don't really want to just put the empty spaces in one spot so we want to at least drop one more empty frame in here so let's continue to see what's happening in the other frames all right so another frame that's wall to wall top to bottom brood yeah see so this queen is doing quite lovely guys quite lovely so here's what we're gonna do now in between here that's where we're gonna drop the next empty space right there you know so we have basically put in two new frames so far this one this one and the crucial thing as i said we want to have the the frames in the central section having the least likely nectar arches you know we just want them to be straight up brood so that means the queen don't find some form of barrier to move upwards even though we're gonna put the brood up there we don't want between two a top and a bottom frame there's like a, a nectar barrier on those two layers right so that's why we're trying to make sure that everything in the center kind of those frames don't really have a nectaring arch that's what we're trying to achieve here we just want to give you a glimpse of this frame as well 
there you go so this hive is a very good idea for me to actually convert it to a double leaf yes this is another brood frame so essentially this hive was sitting on basically 10 frames see 10 frames of brood this hive was on basically all right so so far we would have had three frames that are basically gonna go into the second layer so essentially we took out three frames here and we replaced it with a with, with well four frames because we're gonna put that um, drone frame into the super um, basically for them to hatch out and uh, fill those drone cells with um, only any only that's coming in all right so the next stage now is just to pretty much drop on now the other deep section here so let's the next step is to kind of put these um frames um more to the center we don't really want them to the ends so these are some of the other frames the worker frames so let's see what we can do that's one we'll put this one checkerboarded here Come on, get out of the middle. Yeah. Then we're gonna now drop this here between these two. So yeah, we're gonna move this um right here. Because this is also a honey frame that we had extracted, but it has a lot of worker cells on it. Yeah, so we're going, we just need one more brood frame to put up here to make it really solid. As we said, we're going to pull the brood frame from number six beside us. All right, so let's give you a glimpse of this frame. So this is the frame we're taking from number six. Nice brood frame, guys. This is coming from number six. Remember, number six is one of the swarm queens that we caught and we had switched her out into number six basically so we're gonna drop this in there as well we just we just want to have at least four brood frames up here guys i just feel comfortable with having that amount up here all right so there we go double deep settings um let's close up back number six what we want to do now is we're gonna put the queen excluder here but before we put the queen excluder down we're gonna shake the bees out of the shallow super that um we had used as a brood frame because we don't know if the queen is actually roaming up there so we're gonna shake off all the bees um here all right so we're gonna have to just do them one at a time so bear with me a bit so there you go full frame yeah then we just look you know with the extra tap get all the bees off all right so we have the queen exuda back on um, we had shaken off all the shallow frames just as a precaution to make sure that we didn't have the queen in the shallow here roaming around and we put her above the queen exuda don't want that to happen right so we had to kind of do this step uh, double checking if the queen is on it by any chance and just dropping these back in yeah let's hope she's not up here or like super attached to this one of these frames i think the best thing we should have done in this process is to oops almost stung me through the gloves is to make sure that we found her that's what we should have done first but we kind of never did that all right and then the last bit is to put that back on it now so and uh, as you can see we don't have a full complement of frames up here either um, we have there about what seven so we are we're just gonna try and keep them together because we don't really want them to be building any odd combs 
basically all right so let's just slide on this new cover that we're gonna put here and voila <laughs> so that's it we kind of caused a little bit of rubbing to build up but this hive is now in a double deep setup as you can see let's see if i can give you a preview double deep so we moved out some of the net brood frame from down here put two three frames up here filling the we remove all sections with empty worker cells and we kind of supplemented it with one more frame of brood and it was just a comfort zone i wanted four frame of brood to be up here no specific reason i just think it's it's kind of best to have the the a, a, a greater span of brood section here and it kind of give the queen that there's ample space up there for her to lay so given that i know a lot of pollen will be coming in they'll have space to put the pollen in in the bottom if there's any nectar flow that comes about they'll potentially um, bring the rest into these because this is almost full um, this has um, two or three frames that are filled as well but not capped off or anything so we're just gonna put this back ideally they have so much space right now you know so this is how we're gonna let it go through the rest of the season as and um, let's see what happens you know so as usual guys thanks for tuning in your time was greatly appreciated we just want the employer to give the video a like share with your friends and definitely hit that subscription and notification bell so you can see when new videos come out and peace out <laughs>